Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, let us just talk about the 2D Adopt Emulate inside Fusion 360. Let's get right into it. I just modeled this spot inside Fusion 360 with the help of design mode. And right now, I just want to program this spot. So, let's get started. Before starting the video, if you are new on my channel, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to be a part of the conversation. Thank you. If you look at the on the two paths, it's really fine, right? And you can see it over here. You can right click and go for the simulate. And let me just see. And this way, it will just cut out the materials. And let me just exact the simulation. And exactly, let me tell you what actually you can do to program this part. Right. So the first thing is just to come to the manufacturing mode, click on mowing, and create a new setup. This time, I'm going to the mowing operation, and uh, this time the manufacturing corner system is properly oriented, it's the axis output, and I'm going to just define my body, and now fixture is over here right now, and I just define the stock, and I was like the relative size slender, and I don't want to have any diametral uh, let me just look at this top surface. See, as you can see over here, we have the extra materials to the diametral section. When I just put it zero over here, you can see I'm getting the fixed size cylinder is on top of this uh, box as well, right? So my manufacturing coordinate system, machine zero, is uh, properly set up. And the next thing is just to go for the uh, proper tool panel. So this time I'm going to go for the 2D adopt milling. Uh, this is an, a type of open milling. Uh, Sometimes uh, we use it uh, for such kind of part that are open parts and in this case the machine is going to uh, to push the uh, materials that are going to be cut outside, right? So let me just go for the 2D adopt clearing. The first thing which comes to mind is just to go for the tool selection. And right now, I have already a flattened mill of 10 mm, and I want to select it right now. The tool has been selected. And the next thing which comes is mind is just whether you're going to do the uh, dry machining or the uh, moist machining, right? Whatever you can go. And feed and speed, the Fusion 360 will automatically detect the feed and speed depend on the spindle speed, right? When you define the spindle speed, the rest of the thing will automatically adjust it by Fusion 360. Next thing is just to define the geometry. And I'm going to define like the pockets and I'm selecting this pocket selection. I know this is an open pocket, but at least this is the pocket, right? And make sure you select the chain and tangent. Uh, rest of the things I don't want to, to, to change anything right now because this is a simple CNC program and, and heights, right? Uh, this is the height up to that the tool will be retract after performing certain uh, operation, uh, right? Stock top up to 5 mm, it will be retracted and as you can see over here, right? You can go for the passes and you can go multi depths of uh, 15 mm order by area right now and stock to leave. I don't want to leave any stock for the uh, finishing operation. I just want to finish it up in one operation. You can go for the smoothing and I want to hit it again. So the tool path has been generated. Right now, if I expand it right now, the tool I selected over here, this is my work coordinate system. 